Hi, welcome back to my channel and in this video, my name is Terry and in this video I am going to show you my possible layout for my pedal board tomorrow, the actual board that the pedals are going to go on I'm supposed to be getting. Um, so I thought I would show you what I've got going on here. I haven't decided exactly where the zoom is going to go in on the pedal board yet. Um, but I'm going to have two rows. This row is going to be for an amp that just has like reverbs and choruses and stuff like that and, and octave pedals. Um, this row is going to be for distortions, overdrives, and fuzzes. So I don't know if I want to put this up here because it's got really good clean sounds and it's got an octave thing in there and it's got some synthy sounds on it. Um, so I might put that up in this row. Um, like up where this one is, move this one down. Because this uh, echo and this um, ensemble sound really good. Um, so that's what I'm thinking for my layout. So what I have here, um, for anyone who might not have seen any of my other videos, this is a Kugo DAP2. It's got three effects on it. From right to left, it's overdrive with a boost switch. Um, ensemble and it's got a deep and normal setting and then there's an echo and it's got a normal and a modulation setting and then a volume control. It's got a headphone out um, and you can plug a AC adapter into it. I couldn't, I don't think there's a battery compartment on it. I couldn't find one. Um, then here I have the Dan Electro Fab Metal which I've had for almost 20 years. Um, this, which I just recently got, which is the Mojo Mojo Paul Gilbert Overdrive, which I ordered off of Guitar Center's website. I really enjoy this one. And then um, I bought this at a local guitar store. It's the Mini Tube Screamer, and I really enjoy it too. Um, I think these two sound good together really well. Um, but then it's just a matter of figuring out where to put the Zoom G1X4. Um, I don't know where to put it. I don't know if I should put it up in this row or keep it on this row. But if I keep it on this row, should I put it before the Fab, this fab Metal? So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably sometime this week, once I have the board... Um, experiment with things until I find what I like. Um, and in the next video, I'm going to um, be unboxing and showing you the ABY pedal I ordered. Um, and I think also the octave pedal I ordered because I also ordered an octave pedal. Um, so... I don't know if I'll put the octave pedal on the guitar pedal board because this has an octave um, effect on it. And I think the octave effect on this can go up or down. And I don't remember if the one I just ordered goes up or down, but I, I know it does sound good with both guitar and bass. Um, so if you have any suggestions as to the order I should put things in, leave them in the comments section and... I'll take a look at what your thoughts are and reply to you. Um, also this, because this has a drum machine in it, I'm thinking it should go up in this row because I don't want effects on the drum machine. And it has a looper, which I think the looper would sound really good with the clean effects while you have the unaffected, uh, uh, not unaffected, but this side with the distortions, overdrive, and fuzzes. So that way you have the clean sound of a loop sound, and then you have this. I hope everyone's having a great week, and I will see you in the next video. video.